Well, knowing the signs of forgetfulness versus those of Alzheimer's, how can you tell the difference? An upcoming expo can help you or a loved one who may be suffering. We're joined now by Gail Reese, founder of the I Know Expo, along with Dr. Ronan Murphy, a neurologist at UK Sanders Brown Center for Aging. Thank you very much for coming in. Well, Thanks. first, tell us about this, uh, the I Know Expo, and, and what uh, people can learn there. I'd like to say it's a home and garden show for senior for services, for uh -huh. social services. It's for people who are not already connected into social services. A lot of working people, that's why we have it on a Sunday afternoon. So you can see and talk to everybody one day, one place. And there are going to be a lot of important questions asked. Uh, Dr. Murphy, I know this is one of them. How can you tell the difference between a normal person who's forgetful or somebody who may have the early signs of Alzheimer's? It's a great question is one we hear a lot. Uh, there can be some changes in your thinking and uh, you know some forgetfulness with age is not necessarily a problem but sometimes it can be and one of the things we do offer at the Sanders Brown Center is uh, a free memory screen. If you uh, Google Sanders Brown free memory screening uh, mm -hmm. you can find out more about how that's done or stop by the booth uh, at the center and, and we can tell you more. Do you find that some people just have a, an anxiety about the possibility that you know that they're losing their memory and when in fact that may not be the case? Uh, absolutely and I think when you are faced with the prospect of a progressive disease that can be so devastating that anxiety is absolutely understandable and we at Sanders Brown are really looking for ways to prevent and let's be honest we're in this for a cure and we're actually the the number one clinical research center uh, in the country if not the world uh, trying to address this so it's a condition a lot of people are concerned about um, most people who are worried about it really are not likely to get it not everybody gets it. in fact most people will uh, not develop Alzheimer's, but it is still a very common condition. We would like to identify it uh, in its early stages or even before it develops and uh, hopefully soon develop a cure. Right. Uh, Gail, I know there are a lot of other important issues that also will be discussed. How can people take advantage of this? What, what do they need to do to register? There's no registration, and thanks to our uh, wonderful sponsors, including UK Healthcare, admission mm -hmm. is free. Our community partners, the city, Sanders Brown from the beginning, and the Area Agency on Aging and IT and Bluegrass put this all on for free. Very good. So it is this Sunday, noon until 5 at the Lexington Center. Yes. Hope people will come out and take advantage of it. Thank Appreciate you. It very much. Thank you all.